Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here and welcome to another Onshape Quick Tip, where today we're gonna talk about the slot command in Onshape Sketch Mode. Now here you can see that I've got a model which has a slot punched through the base plate of the model. Let's roll the bar back here in Onshape to before the sketch for that original feature and recreate it. Here I'm gonna start a new sketch on this surface and I'm gonna jump into the slot command. You can see the slot command is found here by default underneath the same menu as the offset entities command in sketch mode. So I jump into the slot command and I just click and drag to create some slot geometry and nothing happens. Uh, this is something that really caught me by surprise when I first started using Onshape and I really wasn't sure what to do. And if you found yourself in that same boat, be sure to hit the like button on this video because I'm about to show you how to use the slot command. So let me hit escape here to get out of that slot command. Let me jump into the line command and I'm going to create some geometry before I jump into the slot command. And that's really the big difference between the slot command in Onshape and the slot command in maybe some other CAD software packages you've used before. So here you can see that I'm going to create a line. I'm going to say I want this line to be 115 millimeters. I'm going to select that line and select the origin and give that a midpoint relationship, which fully defines that sketch geometry. Now I'm going to pre-select that line and I'm going to click the slot command and boom, that's what we were hoping for. Let's double click on this dimension so we can change it to the desired value. And there we go. That gives us a very nice slot feature in our sketch. Now, to finish things off, what we could do is select this line and press Q on our keyboard, which you can see turns that line into a construction line. That might be something that you would do in a traditional CAD system, but really we don't even have to do that in Onshape because as soon as we jump into the extrude or remove material command, Onshape is smart enough to grab the outer perimeter of that sketch. Might be kind of an old habit, certainly it's an old habit that I have to turn that line into construction, but certainly not necessary in Onshape. So let's take a look at a couple of more examples of using the slot command in Onshape sketch mode. Here you can see that I'm gonna jump into a sketch that I've created in this model. And that sketch consists of a center point arc with a 110 degree opening and a radius of 40. And now once again, we can select that arc and then choose the slot command. And Onshape will essentially do an offset entities in both directions and cap the ends with an arc. And that's how you create a slot in Onshape sketch mode. Here, once again, we can double click on this dimension, change that dimension to the desired value. When we're done, we can left click. And now we don't need to convert this line to a construction line. We can just jump right into the extrude command. Like I mentioned before, Onshape is smart enough to just grab the outer perimeter of that sketch and turn that into a cut or a remove material command. One thing that's pretty useful to know about the slot command is that you can use it for multiple entities. So if you were doing some kind of a cam follower for a mechanism, you might create the centerline path for that cam follower. Then you could do a right mouse button, select tangent connected edges, and then you could select the slot command. Now, this looks a little bit funky, I know, because what Onshape is doing here is creating an arc at the start and the end of each entity. So an arc there at the start and the end, an arc there at the start and the end. But like I mentioned a moment ago, Onshape is smart enough that when you go into the extrude or the, the remove command here to remove material, Onshape just grabs the outer perimeter of that sketch. So you don't have to do any trimming, you don't have to do any cleanup, you can just jump right into the remove command, remove that material as an extrude, and you are good to go to create your cam follower for your mechanisms. So I hope that you found that overview helpful of the Slack command. And of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next video.